Casper's number one for New Country, My Country 95.5. I am Doc. And I am Prairie Wife. Prairie Wife, you and I have talked about how we love the holidays, but it can be a challenge for a lot of people. And you got a couple of uh, friends on the phone that actually are experts in that field. I do. I would like you to meet Kevin. He is the CEO of Central Wyoming Counseling Center. And Bernice is the director of Suicide Prevention Call Center that we just started right here in Wyoming. Good morning, guys. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having us. We appreciate so much that both of you are taking the time to kind of share your expertise and your thoughts. We know that, as Doc said, the holidays are supposed to be a time full of joy, but people that are struggling with loss or mental health issues, I think this can actually be one of the hardest times of year. Kevin, could you maybe let us know why that happens and kind of let people know some feelings that are normal right now? Sure. Um, Well, if, if anybody has a sense of loneliness or feels somewhat disconnected, the holiday season where there's supposed to be all of this good feeling back and forth between people, it, if, if you're feeling lonely or if you're feeling cut off, it, it gets amplified this time of year because people think, well, it's the holidays, I'm supposed to be happy, I'm supposed to feel good, and if I don't, then there's, you know, that just makes it worse. And what's even worse about this particular holiday season is the, the, the pandemic that we're dealing mm-hmm. with. And isolation can create all kinds of behavioral health issues for anyone, any time of year. And I think if you put that on top of the holiday season, it just makes it even a little bit worse. And we're hearing from people that, just people in general and some of the folks that we that we provide services to, that this has been a very, very challenging year. Obviously, for everybody, it's been a challenging year. But for people that are you know, feeling somewhat disconnected or feeling kind of out there alone, it's been that much worse because of the lack of ability to really socialize the way everybody is used to. So I think it's sort of a um, Mm two-pronged effect this year in particular. It's always a a rough time of year for people that are struggling emotionally, and a lot of that is normal. But I think if it gets to the point where somebody's daily functioning is affected and they, they can't sleep, they can't work, they can't derive enjoyment out of things, then it becomes more than than what they should have to be dealing with. And they really, you know, we offer support and help for individuals whose issues have become to the point where it really has a, a, a negative impact on their life. Kevin, I appreciate you taking the time to say it is normal to be struggling now with loneliness because of the pandemic. And I appreciate yeah. that you gave a couple examples, maybe some red flags that people are listening can watch out for in their own life that might be a signal that they need to seek some help. Now, speaking of help, Bernice, you just opened up Wyoming's first ever suicide prevention call center. First of all, thank you for all of your efforts. This is a huge thing for Wyoming. Can you maybe share um, the phone number, how people can access you if they need help, and maybe um, some of those numbers if you've been able to help some people? Yes, that we're very, very excited. So uh, the number is the the 1-800-273-TALK. We are connected with the National Suicide Lifeline. We also have a local number, which is 776-0610. We are open Sunday through Thursday from 4 p.m to midnight and also any 24 seven, but that goes rerouted to the national lifeline. And we actually are very excited that we have helped over 478 calls callers here from the state of Wyoming. And you've only, how many months have you guys been, um, had this Wyoming focused, um, prevention hotline? How many months is it? Five months? Um, on the middle of August, August, Second week of August, August 11th. So, so yeah, almost August, six months. And you, 400. that's 470 people right here in Wyoming that you have been able yes. to save. I just appreciate so much that you're able to do that. And we will definitely, Bernice, be having you come back on a little bit later, um, you know, not this time, but to talk about suicide prevention right here in Wyoming and how necessary it is. But Kevin and Bernice, as we're wrapping this up, where can people reach the Central Wyoming Counseling Center if they are struggling with mental health issues, if they're concerned right now, how can they get a hold of you? The Central Wyoming Counseling Center, but here at um, at the Lifeline, again, is the 800 number for the National Suicide Lifeline. And I also wanted to add, you can contact um, the Lifeline, not only if you're having suicidal thoughts, but if you're having a rough day and you 
just need, need that extra extra support you can always contact us it's not only if you're having um you know suicidal thoughts it's just as us having a a, a rough day that you, you need it you know yeah if you need to call, reach out to just, someone you're exactly, there it doesn't have to just be in a exactly, life and danger thing just that extra support and now now what we're we're hearing a lot Parents are struggling because the kids are out of school, and kids also need us. So please, they can always reach out to us. And I wanted to add that pretty soon we're looking into just having our own Wyoming here at the call center to add on an extra feature, which is the texting. So um, to be continued, that's coming in the future, a couple of months. We're going to be adding that so, um, you know, kids are always um, into the new technology that yeah, the absolutely. Ones, they don't they don't feel comfortable um, um calling in so our number again is the local number is 776-0610 the national suicide lifeline 1-800-273-TALK and central wyoming counseling center go ahead kevin if anybody wants to reach the center it's 307-237-9583 that's 237-9583 and I, I, Bernice said I'm a perfectionist. I think you had mentioned that we've been open six months. We've only been open four months. Oh, thank you for that. This is why I work at the radio and no longer teach first grade. I've lost my ability to count. Yeah. So that's even more amazing, almost 500 people in four months that you've been doing that. Now, if you are just catching this interview, it is available for you to listen to as well as links for places that you can go to for help if you're struggling with mental health issues. If you're having suicidal thoughts or if you have a loved one that's struggling, you can find all of that through the My Country mobile app. Kevin and Bernice, thank you so much for taking the time and have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for having us and we appreciate it.